Let's create this new morphic style profile card in HTML and CSS. Before we get started, there is one unique feature in the social media icons. And that is, whenever you hover over them, the you get this effect. I will create a new folder and give it a name. I will now drag the image we are going to use into the new folder. Then open the whole folder in VS Code. First up, create a new file, I'm calling it index.html. Create another file, called style.css. Off goes we will begin with the basic HTML structure. Change its title. Then link the CSS file. We will need one extension, called live server. This will help us review the changes we make in a browser without having to reload it every now and then. We will now use the live server extension to open this code in the browser. For now it is blank, since our body has nothing in it. Open boxicons.com. Click on Usage. Then scroll down to Usage as a font. Copy this, and head back to your HTML file. Then paste it here. Open your browser, head over to fonts.google.com. We will be using Outfit Font. And for the styles, I will select, Light, Regular, Medium, and Semi-Bold. Click here to view the selected families. Click Import. Then copy this code. We will then paste it in our CSS. Next up, using the CSS selector, I will target all elements on the web page. Set their margin to zero. Padding to zero. Box sizing to border box. And the font family to Poppins, which is a sans serif. In your HTML file, inside the body, we will start by creating a div with class attribute container. Inside it, create another div of class avatar. In this one, add another div with class set to profile photo. This is going to hold the user's photo. So, add an image inside it, for the src attribute, I will select the profile.jpg. Note that this is the image that we included in our project folder. And as always, I have provided it in the description, for anyone willing to follow along. Create another div with class name. This will contain the name of the user. Below it, we will have another div with class position. This will contain the position of the user. And lastly another div with class description. This will contain a brief description of the user. Let's see what we have. Nice, let us now add some social media icons. Create a div with class social icons. Inside it, we will have a link with class FB which will represent the Facebook icon. For now I will have a placeholder link. Head over to boxicons.com and search for Facebook. I like this one. Copy it. Then paste it here. We will need four social icons, therefore duplicate this thrice. Change this to Twitter. Class to X. This to GitHub. Class to Git. Class to DR. Icon to Dribbable.
Nice. Now that we have everything we need in the HTML, let us style the card. Head over to the CSS. Our first target is the body. Set the display to flex. Align items to center. Justify content also to center. We will also set the minimum height of the body element to 100% of the viewport height. This just ensures that the content inside the body takes up at least the full height of the viewport. Background to a light grayish blue color. Next up, we will target the container avatar which is a descendant of the element container and the A elements found in the socials icons. Set the background color to a light grayish blue that we've used above. Box shadow will have two parts. The first has an offset of minus three pixels to the left and minus three pixels to the top, a blur radius of seven pixels, and a color of white. The second has an offset of three pixels to the right and three pixels to the bottom, a blur radius of five pixels, and a color of light gray. Let's see what we have. The image is too large and therefore we cannot see other details of the design. Let us resize it. So, we will target the image. Set its height to 140 pixels. Width to 140 pixels. Border radius. 50%. This property applies a circular border radius to the selected image element. A value of 50% creates a perfect circle by rounding the corners. Let's now check it. Perfect, but we still have an error, which I will correct later. For now, we will style the container. Position Relative Width 360 pixels Padding 25 pixels Border radius of 9% on the top left, 9% on the top right, 9% on the bottom right, and 9% on the bottom left corner Display Flex Align items Center Justify content Center Flex direction, column. When we preview this, some of the updates will not be visible due to the error I talked about earlier. Let's sort it out. This container should have a comma after it. After the correction, it should be perfect in the live preview. Nice. Next up, let's change this square avatar to a circle. I want it to have the same dimensions like the image. So, make its height to 140 pixels. Width to 140 pixels. And off goes the border radius to 50%. Perfect. Let us now style this name. Font size, 25px. Font weight, 600. Color, to a shade of grayish blue. Margin, 6 pixels on top, 0 on the right, 5 pixels on the bottom, and 0 on the left. Next, let's style the position. We will target HTML elements with the class position that are nested inside elements with the class container. Set the text color to a shade of blue-gray. Increase the font weight to 500. And also change the font size to 19 pixels. Next, let's style this description. Set the text alignment to the center. 
margin, 6 pixels on top and bottom, 0 pixels on the left and right. For the text color, let's give it a shade of blue-gray. Font weight, 350. And the font size, to 16 pixels. Nice. Next, we will add some space below and above the social icons. So, let's target the icons. And add a margin. Of 15 pixels on top, 0 pixels on the right, 20 pixels on the bottom, and 0 pixels on the left. Nice. Let us now remove the text decoration, and change the shape of the social button. So, set the text decoration, to none. To change the shape, we add a border radius, of 20% on the top left, and the bottom right corners. And 0% on the top right and bottom left corners. There we have it. Next. We are going to center this icons inside each button. So, target the social icons. Set the position, relative, Z index, 3, text align, center, width, 100%, height, 100%, line height, 40 pixels. Perfect. I think that we should also have a hover effect on these social icons. In our CSS, we will target the A element when they are in hover state. And also create a new element before the tag A. Content, set it to an empty string. Position, absolute, top, zero. Left, zero. Bottom, zero. Right, zero. Border radius, 20%, zero, 20%, zero. Background, to a shade of light gray. And for the box shadow, we will create a shadow that appears in set, with the following values on the top left. The second set of values will appear on the bottom right. Great, the hover animation is in place. I'll zoom in to get a closer look. Very nice, now we will add one last thing. I would like the icons to have their official colors. In our CSS, let's start with the Facebook icon. Color, to its official blue. For the rest of the icons, duplicate this code first. Then change the individual class and colors as shown.